What's up guys, it's Kevin Ross here, East Zone Aquatics, and this is a quick update on my Melanistic Gambusia Habruki breeding. So these guys have been in the pond like all summer, and I've got a bunch in here, at least 50 at this point. There's a bunch. So we're just going to kind of take a look. They're in the 30 gallon where the guppies were. I managed to, managed to sell all the guppies except for like two trios. But yeah, let's take a look at these guys. I also have... Um, least Killies upstairs, the Heteroedra Formosa, um, and two tanks up there, but right now we just got these guys, so let's take a look at what we got. I'm going to turn off the light. Okay. So we got lots of males in here. The males have the black spot like the Dalmatian. You can see them in there. There's one right there. So we got a very big variety this year of males and not just a ton of females and not just a ton of um, males without color. There's some males without color in here but mostly most of the males have that color which is awesome or at least parts of it. As you can see these guys are the more white. Um, when you're getting into the good strain it's the darker ones. It usually takes them a little bit of time to get their color back. Um, for those of you that would like to start keeping these they're pretty much exactly like guppies, except they nip fins, and they can take colder water. Because they were out on a 30 degree night, because um, I didn't get them in in time, and that's where I lost most of the fry, but I got all the young adults and adults out. See, there's one that still has uh, color, um, barely any color. So yeah, they're just going to get darker as they grow, like this one's a mature one, as you can see. So yeah, this tank essentially is just a holding tank until I sell them. I think I'm going to be done with these guys after this year. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and sell them all and maybe switch to panda guppies. I have a way of getting those. A strain that actually was started with um, Fort Wayne Fish Tanks, if you guys remember him. He doesn't post as much anymore, but he's still got some really good videos, so go check him out. But he had the panda guppies for the longest time, and he sold the strain and I know where they are now so I'm gonna try and get those um, and sell them too. Uh, I got some really mature big fat females in here and they're just gonna keep birthing. So yeah that's kinda all this is just kind of a tank that's meant to store these guys. I'm running a uh, Cobalt EXT canister on this. Filters it all I need more than enough. Um, we got the Zoomed Turner thingy on the back. It like moves the flow or whatever and they like that because it gives them some swimming area. I built this thing out of styrofoam and then some plastic plants so that just gives the fry cover. And then we just got your standard sponge, double sponge filter in the corner. Um, there's also some coolie loaches in here I've had for like three years and then a pleco. So really basic, some live plants, crypts, and uh, pelea moss, java moss, Christmas moss, some little sag or whatever that is. Um, I think it's cypress helfrey actually, and then some japonica, and then a rotala or lobwigi or something in the back. So just really basic stuff going on. So thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, Keep watching my videos as I put them out. I know it takes me quite a while to get videos out because I'm so busy now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.